हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई सी ई अकेडमी बेनिफैक्टर इन दिस क्लास विल बी सींग ए सिंक्रोनस काउंटर इट्स ऑल्सो नोन एज रिपल काउंटर एज इट्स काउंटिंग बाइनरी नंबर्स सो वी से इट इज बाइनरी काउंटर ये सो इट्स कैन बी कॉल्ड एज ए सिंक्रोनस बाइनरी काउंटर और रिपल बाइनरी काउंटर ए सिंक्रोनस और रिपल काउंटर सो एज वी नो ए सिंक्रोनस काउंटर्स आर ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स अप काउंटर डाउन काउंटर अप डाउन काउंटर इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव सीन अप काउंटर सो वॉट इज एन अप काउंटर अप काउंटर काउंट्स फ्रॉम जीरो टू मैगजिमम काउंट एंड डाउन काउंटर काउंट्स फ्रॉम मैगजिमम टू जीरो इन दिस क्लास विल बी सींग डाउन काउंटर सो बिफोर गोइंग इन इन टू द टाइमिंग डाइग्राम ऑफ ए सिंक्रोनस बाइनरी काउंटर लेट इज जस्ट सी हाउ टू ड्रॉ ए फोर बिट ए सिंक्रोनस डाउन काउंटर फोर बिट मीन्स इट रिक्वायर्स फोर फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स बिकॉज ईच फ्लिप फ्लॉप कैन स्टोर वन बिट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन सो फोर बिट मीन्स वी रिक्वायर फोर फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री फोर फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स एंड इट इज ए सिंक्रोनस इन नेचर सो फॉर ड्रॉइंग ए सिंक्रोनस काउंटर ऑल द इनपुट्स एंड ऑल द फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स आर जे के फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स द इनपुट्स आर जे ए के ए फॉर फर्स्ट जे बी के बी थर्ड इनपुट्स जे सी के सी फोर्थ फ्लिप फ्लॉप इनपुट्स आर जे डी के डी सो ऑल द इनपुट्स ऑफ ऑल द फोर फ्लिप्स फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स आर कनेक्टेड टू लॉजिक हाई दैट इज टू वन ओके दिस इज अ फर्स्ट पॉइंट टू बी रिमेंबर फॉर ड्रॉइंग ए सिंक्रोनस काउंटर ऑल द इनपुट्स आर कनेक्टेड टू लॉजिक हाई एंड इट्स ए डाउन काउंटर डाउन काउंटर मीन्स वी आर हैविंग टू आउटपुट्स ना क्यू ए क्यू ए बार वेन द क्लॉक इज गोइंग फ्रॉम क्यू ए बार वी से इट एज ए डाउन काउंटर to first flip flop we are giving the clock pulse externally cp clock pulse to the second flip flop the qa bar is acting as clock to the second one qb bar is acting as clock pulse to the third one qc bar is acting as clock to the fourth flip flop and we are taking the output set qa qb qc qd ओके सो वाई इट इज नॉन इज रिपल काउंटर बिकॉज अ क्लॉक इज ट्रैवर्सिंग एज ए रिपल ओके वैन वी पुट ए स्टोन इन अ रिवर रिपल्स आर फॉर्म विच आर सर्कुलर कॉन्ट्यूज विच आर गोइंग ऑन डिस्टर्बिंग ईच अदर सो हियर दिस द क्लॉक इज गोइंग फ्रॉम वन फ्लिप फ्लॉप टू द एन अदर सो इट इज ए सिंक्रोनस और रिपल काउंटर सो टू इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स ऑल द फ्लिप फ्लॉप इनपुट्स आर कनेक्टेड टू लॉजिक हाई and the same clock is not coming it's coming from one flip flop to the next and so on it is down counter because q um, the clock is coming from q a bar q b bar q c bar q d bar to have the more clarity we should put dots it means that these two points are connected to this logic high okay you like this or else is this line connected to this line can be a confusion to avoid that we are telling that these two dots are connected to this logic high okay now let us see the three bit asynchronous down counter so for drawing three bit asynchronous down counter we require three flip flops 1 2 and 3 we require three flip flops what is the asynchronous means when all the inputs are connected to logic high it's asynchronous so j a k a j b k b j c k c all the three flip flop inputs are connected to logic high to clock to value 1 the first flip flop is given the clock pulse 
and the output of first flip flop q a bar is acting as clock to the second flip flop q b bar output is acting as clock to the third flip flop. So, the per clock is going as a ripple in the down counter it is connected to the bar part q a bar and the output is taken at q a q b and q c. I hope you have understood the 3 bit asynchronous down counter logic diagram. This is known as logic diagram. Now, let us see how to draw the timing diagram of 3 bit asynchronous counter. So, 2 to the power 3 means 8. So, to have a convenient of convenience of understanding the diagram, timing diagram of 3 bit, I have drawn 8 clock pulses. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This part is known as a leading edge and this is known as a trailing edge of the clock. As we see in the diagram, there is a bubble before the clock pulse. It means it is a negative edge triggered. That means negative edge triggered means the output is going to respond that the flip flop state is going to change at the falling edge of the clock. The bubble means is the flip flop is going to respond at the trailing or falling edge of the clock pulse. So, it is going to respond at the falling edge of the clock. So, we have taken 8 clock pulses. So, now we know that when j and k are 1, what is the output? Output is toggle. Toggle means whatever if it is q is 0, what if q is 0 and the input j k is 1, what it will be the output? It will now toggle to 1 like this. Toggling means to switch from 0 to 1 state, 1 to 0 state. So, let me first draw the q a because to draw q a bar, what is q a bar? The complement of q a. So, how the q a is going to respond? The Q A is respond is going to respond at every falling edge of this clock pulse C P. So, at every falling edge of the clock pulse initially it was 0 at this first clock pulse what happened? It became from 0 to 1. This 1 will continue till next falling edge and this 0 will continue and it comes across this third trailing edge it becomes from 0 to 1. Now, fourth trailing edge from 1 it will become to 0. At fifth it was 0 it will become 1. At sixth it was 1 it will become 0. At uh, this is 0. At seventh clock pulse it will become 1. This 1 will continue and at eighth clock pulse it will toggle. Toggle means from 1 it will become to 0. So, this is q a. Now, how to draw q a bar? q a bar is the opposite of q a. So, it has drawn you have to draw the its opposite. From here to here it is 0. So, it is 1 and then 0 and so on. This is just a complement of this waveform. It is like a mirror image of you know of q a. So, I so, how q a is coming? q a is coming at every falling edge of c p and we could get q a bar that is drawing the complement of q a. Now, how to draw q b? The q b is going to be affected by this clock pulse by q a bar. The q a a bar is now acting as a clock pulse where is q a bar this one. So, at every falling edge of q a bar, this is a falling edge of q a bar. At every falling edge of q a bar, q b is going to change. So, as j and b k are connected to 1, are connected to 1, what will happen? j and b are connected to 1. So, at every falling edge of q a bar, q b is going to toggle. So, initially q b is 0 at, at this falling edge it became 1. This 1 will continue till next trailing edge of q a bar. This 0 it became 0 and it will toggle 
at next falling edge of q a bar it became one this one will continue till next falling edge of q a bar so it become from one it became zero like this now after getting q b we need to draw q b bar what is q b bar it will be the complement of q b so so it was zero it became one from one it became zero that is just the mirror image of this q b q b bar we have drawn like this now we need to draw q c we need to draw q c how the q c is going to affect based on q b bar at every q b bar at every q b bar you can see here at every falling edge of q b bar is going to affect the q c okay so this is q b bar q b bar falling edge q b bar falling edge at this point it is going to toggle so initially q c is zero so this zero is there it will be zero till falling edge of q b bar now it toggle because j c k c are connected to one so from zero it became one and this one will continue till the next falling edge or trailing edge of q b bar now it from one it became zero and so on okay q c bar the q c bar is a complement of q c so this is a, in this way we got the waveform for q c bar so if you see now we need to write the count so how where do we take the outputs here if you see q a q b q c are the output points okay so at the first trailing edge of the clock pulse what is q a it is 1 q b 1 q c 1 so how do we read the data q c q b q a so all the three are one so we got triple 1 now at the second falling edge of the clock what it is 1 1 0 so written 1 1 0 okay now at third clock pulse see what's q c 1 this is 0 this is 1 so what it is written 1 0 1 so it is written as 1 0 1 and so on we can write it so here at the final stage we are getting at the eighth falling edge we are getting this is 0 0 0 0 so we got the count as triple 0 so what is this down counter doing this down counter is counting from triple 1 to triple 0 triple 1 is what 7 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 so in this way this the ripple down counter has done the counting of the clock pulses which is easily explained based on the timing diagram i hope you have understood this 3 bit uh, asynchronous down counter logic diagram and the timing diagram if you have any queries you can post in the comment section thank you good luck students